Hello everyone. This is the homework for October 14th, Tuesday. We are continuing our practice on variables and expressions. So these questions should not or will not, many of them, have an equal sign in them. Okay. The first question says, Winnie had 22 trading cards. She sold T trading cards to a friend. Write the expression to show the number of trading cards she has now. Let's start with the 22, because that's how many she started with. So she has 22. Now, what does it mean to sell something? Is it addition or subtraction? If we're going to sell something, we are giving it away. So, and so we should have less. So that is going to end up being subtraction. We sold something. That is subtraction. And what we sold, we don't know. Like this equation doesn't know, so we're going to put a T. All right. I had 22 trading cards. I sold some. This is representing some. I sold some trading cards to a friend. How many do I have now? How many does she have now? All right, let's look at question number two. Mrs. Johnson has 36 items of clothing. 36 items of clothing. She is going to separate them into three laundry baskets evenly. I'm going to highlight the words separately, evenly, and three. Which number sentence could be used to find X? X being the number of clothes item, clothing items that belong in each basket. Now, there's a really important key word in here, and that's this word evenly. So I know that I have, and I'm going to just draw my laundry baskets over here, okay? I have three laundry baskets, and my 36 clothes are going to go in there evenly. What is our operation? Addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division? Well, with that word evenly, I know that it is either going to be multiplication or division because three times something is even and three divided by something is even in the sense of each one has the same amount. But this word separately tells me I am dividing. I am dividing this 36 into three equal parts. I'm separating it into equal parts. So I would put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and so on. So that means that we would be using this equation. 36 divided by 3. Look at all my numbers. I'll get my blue pen out. I have the 36. I have the 3. I know that I am separating them evenly. That's my division. And I have my x. 
when we write these word problems, we have to think about all of those components. Okay, I'm going to read the next one. It says, Ella is arranging her trophies onto shelves. She places an equal number. All right, that gives us a hint. An equal number of trophies on four shelves. She has 24 trophies total. What equation would help determine the variable B, the number of trophies on the shelf? So in equation one, I do not see reference to the number 24. So I would not pick that one. Let's look at this one. I see the 24, I see the B, but I don't see the four. Four shelves, equally on four shelves is not there. So I'm gonna cross that one out. All right, let's look again. This one, we have the four, and we have the variable B, and we have the number 24. So let's see if this makes sense. Four times B equals 24. She has an equal number of trophies on four shelves. So this equal number of trophies, that's our B. We don't know how many are going on, but imagine, again, I would imagine myself having four shelves, and again, because I have equal numbers, I know that I'm gonna put one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, until I get to 24. So, this makes sense that it would be 4B four times 24. All right. I have my 4 for the number of shelves. I have my unknown number of items I put on the shelves. And we know the total amount is 24. Okay, I know that looks pretty crazy in lots of lines, but that's how I have to figure it out sometimes. And I want you to know that each one of these numbers, variables, or expressions has a reason to being in that problem. Okay, now it's our turn to write to write our own. And this is something you need to be able to do. You have to write your own equation. So I always pick an easy name and an easy concept. So last time I picked balloons, this time I'm gonna keep the same thing. I'm gonna use balloons. So I have a person, I'm gonna call that person Sam. Sam had 15 balloons. Okay. I've got my first variable listed. Now Sam is going to what? Lose, pop, maybe they're going to float away. And we don't know how many. We know that some of the balloons or several of the balloons float away or pop. So let's make them, let's make them float away. Some balloons floated away. Okay, so by going away, floated away, that is my subtraction. I know they're gonna go away. All right, now Sam 
has three balloons left. All right, that takes care of my equation right here, the three balloons. We have to ask one more component, how many did he lose? Okay, you have to have the full thought pattern. And that how many did he lose, that is our variable. That's the x. All right, have a great night. Good luck on the other four problems. We'll see you tomorrow.